The great thing about working with an existing shell and getting to do an adaptive reuse project is that so much of the project is about discovery as opposed to invention. The building has multiple functions, so it's also a cafe, but its primary use is roasting. By introducing all these glazed partitions into the space, we were able to have a connection right through the building. So whether you're a customer or a person working in the office, you've got a really great visual connection from the roastery through to the cupping and meeting rooms, into the cafe, as well as into the courtyard. To make sure that the windows all fit in with the unique envelope that we were working with, we had all of the windows prototyped before we actually took them into full fabrication. The builder across the road, Shane Smith, was instrumental throughout the design process. They fabricated all the windows bespoke for this project, including all the horizontal pivot windows in the cafe. We are actually able to cool the space quite effectively in summer by opening them all up. To show some of the history in the building, we just added a bagged render on the bricks and we also sandblasted all the existing Oregon beams up in the roof structure. Sustainability is really important to me and also to Michael Allpress and the whole Allpress team. When we first came to this building, we realised that the courtyard was going to make a big impact. We needed to take out some of the hard surfaces in the courtyard to mitigate some of the urban heat island effects and introduce a lot of landscaping. We added lots of greenery, lots of plants to actually soften the space visually and aesthetically but it also reduced the impact of the sun on the space. We wanted to make sure that the materials we chose were as low impact as possible while still fitting in with the Collingwood context. So the acoustic ceiling tiles in the cafe were a wood fibre to help reduce some of the noise in that area. And then all the other materials that we used were meant to be as low impact as possible. The great thing about this architectural project is it shows that when architects and clients and builders all work together, even if it's an existing building that might have some constraints built into it that you think might be hard to deal with, when we all work together we can have a really great result that benefits the community but also benefits the client in a big way.